Well, first we'll talk about <laughs> Angela Bass's reaction when okay. she first saw them. She started spanking me like, no. you know, you bad girl. Now, I don't care what the lunar calendar says. This is the year of Ruth Carter. <laughs> Hey everybody, Desiree Murphy here with the mastermind behind the costumes for Black Panther. She not only dresses the stars like queens, but she is a queen herself, Ruth Carter. Let's get into the costumes because I have so many questions about the female characters. Okay. Shuri, yes. she has, um, I would say, the most amount of costumes in mm -hmm. the film. You need the best the design group has to offer. Because she was the leader of the, uh, the design, uh, design group, the Wakandan design group, um, that she would be experimenting with fibers. She would be sustainable. She mm -hmm. would have, um, you know, different, more modern approaches to her own clothes. And that's what I think made her costume really successful because it looked like she was moving Wakanda forward. It's true. Angela Bassett. Yes. From the moment we see her on screen, yes. it's just so powerful. Yes. Yes. Ramonda is a part of, you know, the Panther um, royal family. And in the comics, she actually wears this uh, headdress. It's called the Ishikolo. It's the married woman's hat. But also in the comics, I mean, she's a little more casual. She wears a tunic and yoga pants. She walks around barefoot. <laughs> and so we actually decided that, you know, when we first meet Ramonda at the airstrip when Black Panther comes out of the Talon Fighter, that she would look like the queen. Mm -hmm. um, and that and she does. So so, yeah, and so we um, created her Ishikolo hat as her crown, and we had it 3D printed. And we also created this, what I call a shoulder mantle out of African lace. And then we 3D printed that as well, so that she would have this uh, structure, you know, that you really felt like you were, you were entering a royal place and, and meeting a, one of the royal family. We also have Denai as Okoye. Mm -hmm. Okoye is the leader of the Dora Milaje. Dora Milaje means the adorned ones. And she is the general. We uh, decided that her armor would uh, look, feel, look and feel like jewelry. Mm -hmm. So it has a high sheen. We plated it. Um, it's uh, inspired by the Indibele tribe, which does the neck rings and the arm rings. And we made hers gold. I All the that. other warriors wear silver. Okoye wears gold. The red color um, was embraced because of the beautiful reds that we see around Africa in the Himba tribe, mm -hmm. uh, the Turkana tribe, the Maasai tribe. They all use this, uh, you know, they're all, they all uh, adore this vibrant red. And so it was important that the red be used in the same way and also because we could only make so many of them. Mm -hmm. And when you see one Doro, you wanted to see feel like it was an imposing um, color. So it felt like more. If you see three or four, it felt like five or six. So that was the reason for this, you know, really outstanding color yes. on, the, on the Dora women. The squad of women all coming in. Yeah. So powerful. Yeah, very powerful. Now, what was your reaction when you first saw them all together in what you created? Well, first we'll talk about <laughs> Angela Bass's reaction when okay. she first saw them. She started spanking me like, no. you know, you bad girl, you know, like, <laughs> what? what? Did do? I, don't know. I think it was like a happy dance in uh -huh. some ways. Um, and it took a long time to really kind of get that costume to where it ended up and um, presenting it to people who saw it for the first time was nerve wracking. When Ryan came to see the final uh, version of the Dora, we had it laid out for him and he uh, took a minute and he just really took things in and then, you know, he said, it's dope. They are all in red. We have Lupita in all shades of green. Well, there was a color palette that Ryan wanted to follow for all of the tribes. Um, mm -hmm. And Lupita's uh, character, Nakia, is the uh, fighter for the uh, river tribe. Mm -hmm. And it was important that she wear green to represent the river. Um, and so we used all shades of green. Um, and it was, a, it was a big challenge because I never wanted to repeat the same green twice. 
and uh, up until we get to the end now Ryan and I we we laugh uh, <laughs> and bicker because he sees that as yellow at the UN I see it as chartreuse which yes. is a green but you know it was so beautiful against her skin mm -hmm. and it was just like the perfect standout <laughs> Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever!